is a twin poem uh, that, that's about a young experience with a, a microaggression. And so racism from the outside, but this is a re reflection of internalized uh, can, racism. Can, can, you, can you explain maybe for our, our viewers what a microaggression is real quick? Yeah, sure. So a microaggression is an instance of racism um, that is not an outright slur or an outright attack or a, a confrontational situation, but a, um, a uh, form of racism that is more subtle. Um, so a lot of words, you know, dog whistling, coded language, uh, th these types of things, um, suggestions. But, um, you know, with microaggressions, and this is built into the structure of the poem itself, is that what a microaggression does, like many an insult, is that it makes us feel smaller. Mm. It, it diminishes our self-esteem. Um, so it, it has also has an effect to trivialize a people and a people's accomplishments. Um, so that's Thank what this, this whole poem Beautifully is Beautifully explained. Thank you. Uh, gorilla Arms. It was Sunday morning. My father had just gotten off work. Overtime shift, family room, pink box of donuts, my father's blue work shirt that put them on the table, exhausted but happy, spending time with the family, his arms on the table, muscular, sweaty, heavy, hairy arms. A bratty, snotty-nosed child, I looked across the table and I told him, you look like a gorilla. It wasn't just the words, it was the cock of the head, the wrinkling of the nose, the arch of the eyebrow. It wasn't just the words, it was the sneer tucked inside of them. You look like a gorilla. Who was this stranger who lived in my house, spent hours tinkering in the garage or lumbering out in the yard, yelled to rake up the leaves, pick up the dog poop, mow the lawn, left before I went to school, left in the middle of the night, oftentimes return the same, always wearing that blue or orange uniform, always tired on those days, prone to anger, big, heavy work boots clonking and clomping throughout the house. Sometimes he was covered in dirt, his hair uncombed and wild, work shirt unbuttoned, chest hair out, hairy arm, like gorilla sleeves. Who was this stranger? He was my dad, my father. You look like a gorilla. It wasn't just the words, it was the inflection. It was my reflection. It was the teachers, the guest lecturers, the people on television, the parents of my friends. No one had ever told me that I should want to be like my father, blue collar, work with your hands, muscular, sweaty, heavy, hairy arms. He used them to clean ditches, build pipe systems, to cut down trees, to clear fields and embankments every day for us. You look like a gorilla. There was hate there, disgust there, dehumanization, like how creationists can find nothing more filthy to say that humans are descended from monkeys, chimpanzees, like how racists call Mexicans cockroaches, cackle when they hear la cucaracha, the Nazis called the Jews rats. Blacks were depicted for decades as more ape than homo sapien. My brother commented on how they treated him at work. They treat me like their workhorse, a beast of burden. This was his first admission. This was racism. They treated him like a Mexican and he hated it. My father was as stubborn as a bull, as strong as an ox with muscular, sweaty, heavy, hairy arms, gorilla arms, the arms that built our house the arms that hugged my mother, that carried me as a child. I looked at those arms that Sunday morning and told him, you look like a gorilla. Everything stopped. Everyone was shocked. Soon there was shouting, screaming. I ran, crying, out of the house and into the backyard. You look like a gorilla. I will regret saying that for the rest of my life. 
All right, all right. So that's the push cart prize winning poem, uh, Gorilla Arms. You heard it here first. Oh my uh, God. I thought it was, uh, my name is Romero. Oh, no, no, no. It is uh, Gorilla Arms from My Name is Romero, the book. Oh, yeah. that actually makes more sense. I love your other poem. But Nine I copies for $20. Yes. DavidARomero.com. <laughs> <laughs>